Hello again, this is John Kelly, 6x6 Design Website Services, and I'm back here for our third part of our tutorial here uh, for the Perfect Color and Cut Group about how to administer your website. Now to recap here, the first two tutorials, the very first one we gave you an introductory of your website, how to go into it in the back end, or what we call the admin panel, how to go to your pages and edit your content using the content editor, and how to add content like we did here, we placed this content in here with a copy and paste command. Now the second tutorial we went back in that editor showed you how you can upload a picture and give it a caption. And the next tutorial on this one we're going to show you how to add a video to your website. And videos are important because videos are actually searchable by search engines these days and Google especially since they uh, own YouTube is a great place to have your website as is a good place to have a video. Uh, reason being is when you place a video on YouTube you also place uh, text on there that describes what your video is. Well, search engines find that text and they can use that uh, to help aid in search for people looking for your kind of information. So when you make a video about a certain topic, you give it information in that text area about what it's about, and guess what? It's extra help for getting people to find you. So we're going to show you an example on this particular website. Let's say uh, on our staffing page that we want to place a video in here. Maybe you made a video, and by the way, when it comes to YouTube videos, you want to keep it 10 minutes or less. They won't let you do any videos longer than that. Uh, but ultimately, uh, let's say that we have these pictures of our staff here. We want to do a video, maybe an introductory, a hello, or something like that. Whatever it is that you think will do well for your new visitors to show your, your salon, show uh, why they should come here. And we want to place that right here in the middle. Uh, so to do that in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, go back into our admin section again. We're already logged in here. As you can see, it says edit this entry, so it means we can edit this page. So this is a quick link to take me into this page for editing. And we're going to do that now. And it's opening up our staff page. And as soon as our content pops up here, we'll go in and do that. Okay. Now, to put a video in here, it's actually really, really easy. Maybe you don't have a video online, but if you wanted to practice this anyway to go along with the video, uh, you simply have to um, go up here in our editor, and um, you notice there's a button here that says YouTube. Maybe it's a Google video. Maybe it's somebody else up here, but we're going to use YouTube for our example. If you don't have a video and you want to get one, you want to learn how to do that, I'd be happy to help you with uh, for free, of course, just to talk you through how to get that done. And by all means, you send me an email or give me a call, and I can explain how to do that. And, but anyway, for this sake of this video, let's say that we want to put a video right in this area here. So I'm going to place my cursor in there, place, press enter, and get a new line space underneath between a paragraph and a red title here. <clears throat> so I'm going to place a video in here that's already on YouTube. I'm going to click on this YouTube button. It's going to open up a box asking me for, well, where is the video? Please enter the URL at which the video can be viewed. Well, a URL simply means the web address of that video. They give you an example here. Uh, so you can see it's flashing in this box down there asking you for a URL or asking you for a video address. So let's go get one. So I'm going to open up another browser tab. Uh, for example, here in Google, I'm going to take one of my videos and place it in here to show you how it works. So uh, I already have a shortcut link here to YouTube, so if I click on that, it's going to open up YouTube. You can just type YouTube into the Google search. <clears throat> It'll take you to the same place. But uh, let's say I want to find my videos here. I type in 6x6 design. It does a search. And any videos that I have here that will pop up here. These are not all my videos, but some of them are. For example, getting started with your new website. So if I click on that, it's going to open up that video and it'll start playing it. Uh, I don't want it to play. I want to pause it here so I can talk to you here. And I want to take the link for this website and place it on my website to, to embed this video. So I go over here where it says URL. I just click in that box. It highlights it. Now with my mouse, I want to right click on the highlighted area. I want to copy it. And then I want to go back to my website and where it was asking me again for that link. I want to right click in there and I want to paste. 
and I place that link in the box. I click OK. Now, I expected it to place it down here where I wanted it. It did not. It put it at the top of my page. And you can see that above the title here I have this that I'm highlighting here from one bracket, square bracket to the other is code to embed a YouTube video. Well, all I need to do is move that code down to where I want. So I'm going to click it, hold it with my mouse button, and I'm going to drag it down and let go of the mouse button, and that will move it down into here. Now, while it's highlighted, I also want to center that video on the page. So I just go up here where it says Align Center, click it, and it aligns it to the middle. So anything that you see here that's in these brackets means it's code. It's something you don't want to mess with. Just leave it alone. And uh, because that means you won't see what that code does here in your editor, you won't see it until you go into the public side of the website, and that's where you see it activated. So now I just put a video on there. I want to. I can either preview this or I can save it. Well, I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to hit save because I'm pretty confident this is going to work. So I update my page, and it's going to say that my page is updated. And in just a moment here, the browser will display my stuff down here once again. Now, when it did that, keep in mind that it only uh, shows me the code. It's not going to show me the video here. I got to go to the front uh, and view it there. So I go up and click View Page, and I'm going to go to the front end or the public side of the website and actually look at this thing. So if I scroll down, you can see there it is. There's my video. It's centered. And uh, if I just click on pl Play, hopefully, if everything works right. Hello, this is John Kelly. The video plays. And I just click to stop it again. So as you can see, this is a real simple way to add a video to your website. It took no rocket science whatsoever to do so. And uh, by the way, when you're using this particular video player, even the one that you're watching right now, if you go down here, you'll notice that this little red box, if you click on that, it'll open up your screen to make this much larger and easier for you to follow along what's going on here. Uh, to get out of the screen, I just simply hit escape and it takes me back out. Okay, so that's going to conclude this tutorial on how to add a video to your page. And uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to show you some more stuff that you can do with your admin section. But keep in mind there's a reason why we wanted to add a video, and that was not only to give the public perception, but there's another reason. Videos add search, search content. So, for example, if I go open up this tab here, I did a search in Google and uh, just happen to click Google Videos, for example, instead of Google Web. And I typed in 6x6 six six Design, getting started with your new website. And when I search it, well, guess what? It comes up. And if you notice, it's highlighted up here at the top, and it's over here on the right. And that's because it has content in here explaining what I did. So when you create a video and you place it on YouTube, it can help your website searches. So, for example, if you got a special service that you do at your salon, this is a great thing to do. You make a a video and you describe what's in the video and that automatically means it's something that's now searchable for somebody looking for your service. Okay, so thanks for this tutorial we'll, and uh, for paying attention here. We'll show you in the next tutorial some more stuff, so stay tuned.